Alright guys, so here's what I've got. I have no idea what this is. It used to be a pressure fitting of some sort. And it's got a small hole in it. You can see how, how small the hole is compared to my finger. And this will put out a nice flame without, um, even without the oxygen. But with the oxygen, we're going to see how much it will put out. See how high we can get that again. That was quite an interesting experience. So, let me turn all this stuff back on. There we got a little bitty flame going. I'm going to turn, turn this on. Turn that on. Turn that on. Ah, there we go. It's lit. I'm gonna go turn the lights on. Looks like about uh, like 30, 30 mmHg is about all we can add to the mixture before it goes out. That's what, it, that's what it's looking like. Now the difference is is how high the flame is. I can. I can burn something, melt it a lot higher. So I'm going to uh, I'm turn the lights back on. Okay, we have flame, and I'm going to turn. The oxygen on and the air. Still lit. Okay, now I'm going to turn the ionizer on. There we go. Okay, ionizing oxygen. Ah. Almost looks like something changed. smell the ozone being created. I don't know if it's being burned. Yes it is. I can smell it. Let's uh try some cardboard I guess. Alright, we'll turn this back off. I'll let that blow out of there. Alright, so I guess we'll go ahead and try the explosion test again. Our flame is still lit.
Now they should flash back. Okay, now it's not lit anymore. Alright, I'm going to turn this on and see what happens this time. like it got louder. Yeah, I could put some soap in there. I'm going to go get another lighter. Okay. Everything still burning. Big ones are loud, ain't they? I'm gonna turn this air off for a minute. So uh, we just have HHO, no extra oxygen. a lot louder with the extra oxygen. That's interesting. So when I add the extra oxygen, it seems a lot louder. ionizer. thoughts, I don't know. I can smell the ozone. Turn back off. Let it bleed out a little bit.
doing the flashback. Yeah, that's hard to tell. I'm gonna watch the flame. I get this nice blue flame. I'm gonna go turn the lights off. I can't see it very well. So I get a nice blue flame without the ionization. Alright, so you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see the flame, but I can see it. That's what matters most. Let me get the camera a little closer. That's not it. <laughs> Camera can't even hardly see it. Oh, there it is. Alright. So, without ionization, with ionization. It's actually jumping across the gas gun gaps pretty good in there. Actually, it's got moisture in there, I guess. So that's with it. And that's without it. Interesting. Well, um, there's your experiments. Don't really know what to take of it just yet. I personally couldn't see a whole lot of difference. But, um, I don't know. Turn all this stuff off. Flashback. All right, so um, yeah. Russ with RWG Research. I'm going to try to cut a lot of the junk out of this footage. So what you get to see is probably going to be less than what it actually was. Don't really know what else to say. I will say that these work quite quite nicely. Um, very surprised. And yeah, pretty cool. Can't, can't see through and that's the light reflecting off the inside. So they're pretty pretty dense um, little thingamabobbers. Alright, well, this has been an interesting adventure, and the shop is totally going to be just like this until probably a couple of weeks because it's going to be chaos for a little while. Um, it's just a mess down here. So, that's it. Russ with RWGresearch.com um, saying good night. Everyone over here on the live show hanging out still. 19 viewers, 20 viewers. It's crazy. They've been with me all day hanging out, so it's been pretty nice. Um, hadn't paid much attention to them lately. See you guys later.